I'm going to give you seven tips to quickly fix your Xbox disc problem. Hey everyone, welcome to That Guy's Review. Since my last video about how to properly insert the disc into the Xbox uh, Series X, uh, there's been a couple people that have reported disc issues, and uh, I figured that I make a video about it just because it's starting to become more common. Um, where some are related to uh, the actual console having issues and some just um, didn't properly insert the disc and, and other things that may have caused this. And I hope that you guys will drop a comment below uh, with your experience and uh, share your thoughts as well just to help everyone out as a community online. These are expensive consoles, right? So you expect to get what you paid for. So the first tip that I'm going to give you, your disc is not damaged right you want to check for scratches you want to make sure there's no smudges and if there's any scratches um, you know the disc depending on how serious the scratch is your disc might be a, um, a goner I mean if you have smudges you can uh, clean it off with some soft cloth the second tip that I can give you is to make sure that you're inserting the disc correctly now I've made this video before uh, but I'll demonstrate that again here. Um, you want to make sure that the sticker is actually facing um, to the left of the console, as you see here. And it should go right in smoothly, just as you just saw now. I know some users are saying that, you know, their console get extremely hot and it just doesn't read. Uh, it shouldn't be the case. That's not normal. You know, it goes right in, as you just saw now, smoothly, and, and the game should just load automatically. Now the third tip I can suggest is try restarting your Xbox console. I have personally experienced issues with Cyberpunk. You know, I had instances where it took too long to load and it required me to restart the console. And you can do that simply from the menu. And the fourth tip would be to power down the system by holding down the power button. Now what this is gonna do, you just saw that the light went out, is going to force the system to reposition itself and it's going to recheck the disc once it powers back up. And a fifth tip is try repositioning the, the console itself. Sometimes standing up might not um, be the best position for some reason. And you can simply just turn it to the side and give this a shot. And in this case, the sticker actually faces upward, goes right in just like that. And the sixth tip that I would suggest is to check to see if that disc is, is the one that's giving you the problem. Is it just related to that disc or is it happening for um, all the discs that you're putting in? Uh, I know that from my personal experience, Cyberpunk tends to give me some issues from time to time. And uh, it seems to be the only one. So, you know, you wouldn't want to say that, you know, you got a, you got a Lemon uh, Xbox uh, Series X uh, just from that experience. Um, Hopefully Cyberpunk will start releasing some patches that will fix that issue, but um, that'll be sent for a separate video, not for this one here. So just make sure that, you know, it's not specific to that disc. You know, you'd hate to have to want to return an entire console over, you know, an issue that might be related to the disc. Now, if all fails, uh, I would recommend you submitting a request for repair. Uh, you can simply go online to Microsoft's website or the Xbox website and go to their service center. Now, um, since you purchased this console, you know, you should have your console registered and yeah, just to be able to kind of take advantage of their standard warranty, which is up to a year. Now, um, the one thing I did learn, which really stinks, is you know, I purchased my Xbox from Walmart and Walmart, um, you know, I got it on November 25th and my warranty actually started a lot sooner than that. Uh, so I've contacted Microsoft and Microsoft had told me that um you know it's from the warranty starts from the time that the merchant picked up the console and my explanation to them was look if i bought the console from the merchant six months later does that mean my one year warranty uh, expires within six months and they simply just said yeah um so that that's that really sucks but anyways um you can purchase uh extended warranty uh you know i think the price varies i don't have all the information in front of me I'm sure you can find that online. Uh, you can get the uh, extended warranty coverage with accidental damage coverage uh, within 45 days uh, of the time that you've purchased the console. And you know, you, you can just take the console to a Microsoft store to have it looked at. 
Um, and, I, and I believe Geek Squad for Best Buy, they have their own um, pricing and I don't know all the details around that as well, but I thought I mentioned that that's probably the final route that you would take if you continue to have symptoms of uh, disc issues. Now, I hope this video helps for those who are um, going through this right now. Guys, you know, I've uh, started this channel not too long ago, so I appreciate any support that I can get from you guys. You know, I, I see a lot of people watching the videos. Um, so please like and subscribe. I'll be able to bring you more content. And um, also visit uh, thatguyreviews.com, which I've listed below. And uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned a lot from it, and, and hopefully you guys will share your thoughts and comments below as well, just so that we can learn from you. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then.